Hello, this is Chris of Magoosh, and on this Vocab Wednesday, we have perfect score words. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, on the GRE, on the second verbal section, there's basically the hard section and the easy section, and which one you get depends on your performance on the very first verbal section. So if you get that hard, that second hard verbal section, then these are the kind of words that you're gonna see on there. Starting with the word calumniate. Whoa, what does that word mean? Scary, right? Well, it comes from the slightly more common noun, which is calumny, which is slander. So if you calumniate someone, you are slandering them. And the context is always very formal, such as the mayor of the city calumniated the visiting dignitary for blah, blah, blah. So it's always kind of like a political, more sophisticated context. And the funny thing about this word, there's even another form that I believe was once on the GRE as a wrong answer choice, and that is calumnious. That is the adjective. Not used at all, but it was just there. And a good thing to always do is look at that first part of the word. So even though you never memorize the word calumnious, if you have calumny and calumny, it's probably related to those two. Next up is propitious. This word is similar to the word auspicious, which means favorable. So we hear the word auspicious beginning, meaning a favorable beginning or favorable start. So a propitious beginning would be a favorable start or beginning. And so if you get that second verbal section and the very first text completion you see, the right answer to the words is the word propitious. That would be propitious, provided you watch this video. Next up is choleric. What does that even mean? Well, it means someone who's always angry and spiteful and in a bad mood. It just doesn't sound good, like cholera. It's not a good thing, it's a choleric. So you can use that mnemonic. It has to mean something negative, and again, someone who's always grumpy. Mm, choleric. Next up is inchoate. Something that is inchoate is not fully formed, such as if I didn't quite know the definition to this word, I'd say inchoate is sort of, you know, when it's kind of like, uh, that would be an inchoate definition of the word inchoate. Again, inchoate is something that's just starting off, not fully formed. And so maybe the new country just gained independence and their government is at an inchoate phase where they haven't quite elected everyone. That might be a more likely context on the GRE instead of the bad definition version. Next up is doctrinaire. So it sounds familiar, it's like the word doctrine. So someone's doctrinaire likes lots of doctrines. Well, kind of. Doctrinaire means someone who has to do everything by the book. Very much follow orthodoxy. Everything has to be just this way. Follow the rule. That is a doctrinaire way of doing things. And laconic, our next word. What could that mean, laconic? Well, laconic is a similar word to a very common GRE word, which is reticent, which means not saying much, being very tight-lipped. So laconic is a synonym for that, and it really means just uttering one or two word answers. So if you ever see one of those Westerns and you have those cowboy types, and maybe you have a, one of their little garrulous or talkative sidekicks, they say, hey, what do you think about that over there, big cowboy? And the big cowboy will say, not much. That would be an example of a laconic cowboy. Of course, doesn't have to just be cowboys. Anything that doesn't say a lot, it would be laconic. Something tells me, hmm. I'm not very laconic. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those words. And if you didn't, please don't calumniate me in the comments. Wait, don't go just yet. Are you studying for the GRE? Then join the 1.8 million students who have used Magoosh to tackle the test. Check out the link in the description below to find out more. And if you want more vocab videos, then check out the ones on the left.